Hello and welcome back. I wanted to center today's video around workwear, more specifically a 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. Now, if you're not familiar with this, essentially it's 10 items that put together 10 or more outfits. And I love this as it really drives you to curate a very well considered and thought out selection of items and it allows you to kind of see their versatility, how practical they are and how they work interchangeably together. Now I have kind of centered this more so around a transitional season wardrobe as I know we're kind of heading into that season and I have a little bit of fun color here. So I'm going to share with you some top tips on how to build one of these capsules along with sort of a framework or a guide for the items that I have selected in case you want to try and replicate this yourself. Today's video is in partnership with Linya, who you will know is one of my longtime favorite jewelry brands for affordable but high quality jewelry as they sell direct to consumers so you don't have that traditional markup that you may get from other brands. Before I share with you the new jewelry pieces that I've added to my collection, I do just want to mention that you can use my code Jamie25 to buy one get one 45% off. I will have all those details down below along with links to everything that I feature but I would say probably the key one for me is the fact that they now have charms and 14 karat gold necklaces that you can use to kind of stack and create your own personalized necklace and I really love this. If you recall at the end of last year, it's kind of funny because I feel like we're on the same wavelength here as this was already in development, but I got two of their gold vermeil uh, birthstone necklaces because I wanted them to signify my two children and now I'm able to do that on a 14 karat gold necklace which to me is really special and when I think about International Women's Day in particular, I think about how kind of proud I am to be a mother to two really wonderful little kids. And it also just reinforces to me the impact that my late mother and also my yaya have had on me throughout my life. I've really looked up to them as role models and this is kind of an opportunity to really celebrate other women, lift them up and I think also maybe treat yourself to something a little bit special and this is why I'm really drawn to Linya's 14 karat gold pieces in particular because these are a true investment. They are considered going to last you a lifetime. They do not tarnish. They are so easy to care for. You can wear them in the shower to work out in, to the beach. You don't have to worry. They're always going to look immaculate. And you'll know some of my favorite pieces are their 14 karat gold lab grown diamond pieces, which are ethically sourced diamonds. They're not mine. They're grown in a lab, but in every way, exactly the same as a mine diamond. So the gold that Linya uses is 100% recycled, which I think is so wonderful. And actually they use recycled materials throughout their entire range. So I'm wearing here the Fade Box Charm Necklace, which is so dainty and elegant, really, really fine. And I love the way that this pairs with the gemstone charms. So I've got the Swiss blue topaz for my son and then the white topaz for my daughter to signify their birth months. And I just think so special because this means that I can carry it with me every single day. And this is a really great way to add that touch of personalization into your workwear outfits, particularly when you have a very strict dress code, which many people in very corporate settings do. And it means that you're sort of restricted in some ways with how much you can sort of show your personality and express yourself through your clothing. And accessories are a great way to do that because remember when you're thinking about personal style, it's not just the actual items that you're choosing from a clothing perspective, but also the ways that memories invoke this special sense of style and make us choose very specific pieces. And that's why this necklace is so special to me. They actually also have initial charms too so I've gotten a little J initial charm so I can either add that onto the chain or alternatively I could wear it on its own but just really beautiful and the quality is exquisite. Some other options from their 14 karat gold range which is my personal favorite if you're looking for work appropriate styles would be uh, these two earrings that I'm wearing. So I've got the little Huggies which have white topaz baguette stones and I really love these and I've paired these with Huggies with a pearl drop. So these are both really beautiful, elegant, very kind of minimal and simplistic. So they're not going to feel overwhelming. That is really nice refined touch. Alternatively, if 14 karat gold is out of your budget, you can also look to their gold vermeil range, which is also really high quality. My Matilde earrings being a personal favorite of mine, and they have a little bit more of an organic shape. They're just a little bit more of a standout piece, and I think not too loud for the office. Also, their rings, really dainty, very pretty. You can see I've got a mix of their 14 karat gold and gold vermeil pieces here, but I just, I love the 14 karat gold. I have to keep going back to it because it is just so creamy and soft, and I feel like it suits a really wide array of skin tones as well. So really wonderful to be working with a female founded brand to celebrate International Women's Day. And as I mentioned before, you can buy one and get one 45% off using my code Jamie45. All be down in the description box. 
So I kind of just want to run through some simple tips around building a little capsule edit like this, especially for the office. So the first thing is that you want to think about the color palette first. And my eye immediately in my closet was drawn to this beautiful kind of rich pomegranate hue and I wanted to show you how you could inject color like this into your workwear wardrobe and it kind of act as a neutral in some ways. So that was kind of the hero piece and I knew that I wanted any colors to really complement this. So a great option for me was because I felt white would be too stark was to opt for more of an ivory or an ecru, something that's got a little bit more warmth to it, a slight little bit of a yellow undertone and that really acts as a bit of a softening touch and doesn't feel quite so high contrast. Then when I was thinking at the other end of the spectrum for darker hues, I wanted something that was going to be deep in color but not black. So I thought a rich chocolate brown would be a great option, something that's not too highly saturated so that the plum kind of pomegranate shade could be the star. Then finally, I wanted something within that same color family, so I opted for a pink sweater. Now, just keep in mind that I probably wouldn't wear a sweater this oversized to a corporate setting. I would look for something that's a bit more fitted to the body. I'll link some options down in the description box, but just for the sake of showing you the color combinations, I've styled it up in this video and hopefully it'll give you some ideas and serve as inspiration. But I like that and I think pink really pairs nicely with this pomegranate color. Otherwise, you could do a really beautiful cornflower blue. That would be wonderful as well for that bright pop. So then my next step really centers around the tops and it's about considering the textures that you are bringing into your capsules. So I highly recommend looking at varying textures because this allows you to, one, keep things interesting, means that everything won't feel flat and the same. And it also gives you a lot more visual dimension and interest in your outfits. So for example, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this here, but this top here has a very thick rib net. So it's highly visual and it's also really interesting to touch uh, and I, I love that kind of component to it whereas this blouse here is in a silk shine mousse so it has this lovely element of shine to it and I really love that quality in this blouse. Then when you look at the knits and of course they have that knitted texture to them which can be really interesting in here I've got the ribbing around the collar as well. So that's one consideration in terms of selecting tops and then the other one would be think about varying necklines as well because they're going to give you different looks. Even if all the items are in the same color, if you have different styles, different silhouettes, then that will help to add variance. So it's just going back to this top again, this has a sweetheart neckline. This top here has a really high neck. It's actually interesting because at the back it has this sort of low draped knot effect. And then of course with the shirt, you can really button this up and have a quite tight neckline or alternatively you can wear it open, which is my personal preference with glasses. So for this capsule, I have selected five tops, two of which are knitted pieces, one being a thinner knit and then the other one being a heavier knit to sort of see through those cooler days. And then I've gone with three tops, so two sleeveless or short sleeve tops and then one long sleeve top. And I would say you could easily swap out the sleeveless styles for a short sleeved blouse instead if it's inappropriate for your workplace. Here in Australia, sleeveless is fine, but I know that every workplace is very different. Then I've opted for two bottoms, so one skirt and one pair of trousers and then one suit jacket. Then I've also, to round up to 10, I've included a work appropriate tote. This actually feels very reminiscent of the Margot bag from The Row, but much less expensive. And then a great pair of court shoes, ones that will work with every color. And what I'm gonna do here now is I'm going to overlay all the different outfits on screen so that you can really get a sense of how you can build a very interesting but cohesive work wardrobe just using a very small select number of items. And what I love here is that these different silhouettes really shine on their own in each capacity, whether paired with the skirt or with the trousers. You have to mind the trousers are a bit long for me, so I've just pinned them up. So the hem doesn't look as clean as it should, but I think this really illustrates my point here. I particularly like how you can create different looks, whether you tuck in a top or you decide to leave it loose. And that can be a fun way to play around with the styling. You could also add in other elements like belts, you could add in scarves, but for me, the personality is really coming through the silhouettes of the clothing. And then that very special touch of knowing that I'm wearing jewelry that is very intimate to me, that is very sentimental to me and has personal meaning. There's a lot of layering possibilities here as well, depending on the necklines that you have chosen. So knitwear being beautiful to layer over the top of your blouses so you can have that little collar peeking through, but also you can layer knitwear under knitwear so that you have that 
collar the trim of your underlayer peeking through and that is one of the details that a lot of stylish people inject into their outfits. Also other little flourishes that you could do is add things like a brooch onto your blazer or onto your tops if you want to have a little bit more of an eye-catching design but that is not overpowering or too loud and also you can think about different ways to sort of fasten up your blazer. This one is a little bit more nipped in at the waist but if you had a style that was more relaxed, more loose then you could easily belt it if you wanted and that would help to create a little bit of a peplum effect and in a way turn your jacket into a top. As you can see these pieces all work together really harmoniously which is all down to the fact that they have been selected for the very purpose that they have been selected with colour palette in mind and then also with those other details like neckline and texture in mind as well and when you think about the skirt it being a bit shorter not being a full length maxi skirt means that I've also got those varying hem lengths as well. And that wraps up this workwear 10x10 capsule for the transitional season. I really hope that you got some outfit inspiration and would love to know if you had a particular favourite piece or a particular favourite combination that I shared throughout this video. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me and I hope that this really helped illustrate how you can do so much with a very small number of items in your closet. I would love to know what you would like to see for my next 10 by 10 capsule or next capsule edit and don't forget that you can actually go over to my Substack if you'd like to see all of my monthly 10 item capsules that I share over there with all of the different outfit ideas and trust me when I say there are usually more than 30 per month so loads of different ways to style up your clothing and really make the most of what you have thank you again to linear for partnering with me on this video and don't forget you can use my code jamie45 to buy one get one 45 off i will see you next week with a brand new one see you soon bye